First of all, Joe, I want to get an idea of what your life was like before you met up with the rest of the guys to form the band that would eventually become The Clash. Yeah, which part of my life? The, the part of your life where you were strumming <laughs> in subways and, and places like that. Yeah, that was just, um, I was learning to play really well. Busking is what we call it. Is that sort of like what they call panhandling here in the States? Yeah, except panhandling is just asking for spare change, isn't it? Uh-huh. Busking is better because it's a voluntary exchange. Like if you like the tea and you throw a dime, if you don't, no sweat, you know. It's pretty different from panhandling. I was, I was always proud that I could play it and I didn't have to panhandle. So basically you're putting on a show and people are expressing their appreciation. Yeah, if they want to. This is in London? Yeah. It's the second oldest profession in the world. It is, eh? Mm. <laughs> Now what kind of places would, would you do this in? Was it mainly tube stations, places yeah, like that? Yeah, usually tube stations. They're quite risky, you know, you have to run a lot. There's quite a lot of police because it's illegal in, in England. Did you have ambitions to... to actually start a band and be in a band or was that the furthest no. thing in your mind yeah I didn't really think about that until it got a bit tense down in the tubes so then it crossed my mind that I could probably get a bar band together for, to earn a few bob just to keep me going over the summer and that's really how I started to plug in electric amplifiers and stuff you're down the tube and there's no one in the passage and it's a hundred feet long and then some train disgorges its contents and so there's about 300 people walking very fast towards you and there's no room really in the passage to stand against the wall and have a guitar case out and you've got to have something that's going to be able to be heard you know it's no use twittering away finger picking some delicate ballad about roses you know when there's like 300 elephants charging along in an echoing passage and they, they just want to go home and they're not interested in anything else so from the very start when I started playing music I realized you had to have a rousing thumping type of chin you know you had to have something that you could get your hands on which is in a crude way what punk was anyway it had to be simple and it had to be loud now it's 